Good morning guys, welcome to another vlog. We are actually about to try a new hair tool that I've got, so I thought that I would just pick the camera up. This is the Babyliss Deep Waves. This isn't the one that I originally went in looking for. I went in looking for the Babyliss Waving wand that I used to own, but I just cannot find mine anywhere. But it was out of stock and then I saw this and I was like, hmm, that one might work actually. So we are gonna try it today, but the first thing I need to do is actually just dry my hair. So let's do that. Oh, okay, so this is what my hair looks like if I just dry it with the hairdryer. <laughs> I'm actually liking the whole swept over look rather than having a middle part with this hair. There's three heat settings. I think I'm gonna keep it on the lowest one because I don't want it to be super wavy. I just want like a subtle and it comes with this mat, which is good so I can keep it on my knee. I can't get over how much thicker my hair feels since I've chopped it off. It is honestly insane. This is looking promising. I feel like it might take me a few goes to get it right, but I'm like that with every hair tool. I find them really difficult to use because I'm just not naturally good at doing hair but this looks promising if this does look good at the end this is going to be such a quick and easy way to do my hair that is the bottom done i'm not going to brush it out and wait till it's all done i feel like i might have made this a bit too curly for my liking but hopefully when i brush it out it'll drop a little bit Whew. <laughs> do we have high hopes for this do we not it's about to be the grand reveal oh. well Okay, this is my hair right now. I did not like how the top layer turned out, so I just put it up in a little bun. But I do think it looks cute. It's like messy and cute. But I need to figure out a way to curl it so that the top layer isn't super frizzy because it did just look really frizzy. I didn't like it. <laughs> I like this hairstyle a lot. I'm looking in the mirror. It's cute. Let's go make another cup of tea and then we've got work to do. My mom has said she is actually making parking today, which if you don't know what that is, it's like a ginger stodgy cake kind of like mixed with flapjack it's amazing it's one of my favorite favorite things and people usually make parking up north for bonfire night but she's making it and she was like i'm gonna film it so you can put it in your vlog so <laughs> if she has done that i'm gonna insert that here She's so cute. Me and Cam constantly say she should be an influencer. She should have her own like cooking page. I love this mug from TK Maxx, HomeSense, wherever it was from. My Smeg kettle broke. I feel like I've spoken about this, but yeah, I have a Smeg kettle and it broke. It just stopped working. I changed the fuse in it because I thought it might be that. Anyways, I ordered a replacement and what sucks is it was just out of warranty. So I had to pay 40 pounds for the replacement, which isn't ideal, but also isn't horrendous because Smeg kettles cost so much money. So at least I didn't have to buy a whole new one. Anyway, I'm having such trouble with DHL trying to deliver it. They've attempted three times, all of which I've been at home because I've made sure I've been home for these deliveries. And they just keep saying no one's home, tried to deliver no one's home. So I've been on to DHL and they said it was going to be delivered yesterday and the delivery driver was going to phone me before he came. That didn't happen. So I messaged them again and I was like, yeah, that didn't happen. So now apparently he's coming tomorrow and he's going to ring me before he gets here. I just don't have faith. But then what do you do at that point? Like that's fourth delivery attempt. Anyways, I bought this cheap kettle from Robert Dias this one here and it had started putting like weird white bits in my drinks which was gross so I stopped using it but I've done three cleans of it with citric acid if you didn't know this if you've got lime scaly water if you boil your kettle like full to the brim boil then put citric acid in your kettle and then leave it and then like boil it again and then rinse it out it completely gets rid of the lime scale it's amazing I do it with my smeg probably once a month but this cheaper kettle at all needs it doing like every other day or it starts putting disgusting things in my water. I don't know why that is, but clearly like the more expensive kettle works better for lime scale. But anyways, I cleaned it so much and now it's fine. So at least I've got a kettle. We have got to tidy this flat today because I have 
somebody coming to stay very soon, which I'm so excited about. So the flat needs a little bit of tidying. What else do we need to do? I need to film a video. I'm going to do a Q and A and I've got some editing to do. I think I've got three videos on the go right now that I need to sit and edit. So we will do that as well. Oh, and try all the vintage coats on. That is what I want to do. I've been wanting to do that for a while now, but I keep forgetting. Oh my God. I also keep forgetting to open my advent calendar every day because it's not December, but I don't know if I'm going to do vlogmas so my mum was like i'm gonna make you your advent calendar early so you can put it in your november vlogs but i just forget because it's not december yet so it's like not on my mind this one said said the bells of saint clements oranges and lemons said the bells of saint clements isn't that the rhyme so maybe it's got something to do with oranges and lemons i love how she's wrapped these she's so cute what a cute little jane i literally bet she is only watching these videos to watch me open my advent calendar Ooh. Ooh, yum. Oh, I love these. So these are orange and lemon sweets. I love these so much. Did anybody else's parents used to buy those little diamonds to decorate buns and cakes with? They're like sugary diamonds. Well, I used to sneak down at night and go in the cake cupboard because my mum used to make like really cool cakes and eat all the diamonds. <laughs> and these kind of sweets remind me of those diamonds. So I'm very excited for those. Thanks, mum. Also, I painted my nails last night. I wanted to show you because the color is so pretty, especially with these pajamas, like very autumnal vibes. Here we go. This is Hot Toddy Naughty by OPI. This is a super duper pretty, sparkly, cool toned brown. It's so nice. I'd been seeing people actually get gel nails. They were getting brown with the silver metallic on top. And that is what these are reminding me of, but obviously without any of the fuss of having to do the metallic. So they're so cute. Another thing to tell you, I finished sex education last night. Thought I was gonna cry at the ending, but I didn't because it felt a little bit rushed. But I do understand why it felt rushed. There was like 10 different characters' storylines to finish in one episode, which is kind of crazy. And I do think they did a good job of it. The only thing is there were so many new characters in season four and I just didn't care about them, which sucks. I feel like a lot of shows do this. They'll introduce characters too late and then I'm, I'm not a attached to them. Like I just wanted to see Maeve, Otis, Amy, Isaac, Ruby, Olivia. Like I wanted to see all of those people. I didn't really care too much about the new characters, although I did like the representation. But anyways, that kind of made it like less meaningful for me at the ending. I really thought I was going to cry because I loved that show. And I do recommend watching it if you haven't. It's such a good show. It covers so many important topics, but it's also lighthearted and great acting loved it i'm now gonna move on to let's have a look actually at my netflix list honestly i want netflix to just start putting their christmas movies on you know the shitty christmas films that they do every year like the vanessa hudgens ones the bonnie bennett ones but next on my list of things to watch is i want to watch the beckham documentary that came out a while ago though i am re-watching schitt's creek i'm such a creature of habit i just re-watch the same things all the time and then what else has come out recently i'm not even sure guys if anything good has come out recently please let me know there's something called bodies in this gripping crime drama four detectives must solve the same murder in four different time periods oh i'm gonna add that to my list that sounds good that's number one in tv programs today anyways if you've watched anything good recently let me know but yeah just gonna sit enjoy my cup of tea put some makeup on get filming and we will see where the day takes us i've got this new jumper from Pull and Bear. Let's give it a go. What do we think about this? Put my necklace on. I think it's adorable. Tucked with jeans on. Also, I've got the biggest black full briefs on today and I did not think about it when I was choosing my pajama choice. So if you see them, ignore them. I'm on my period. A granny pant is the way to go. <laughs> but yeah, this jumper, love it. So cute. Anyways, I'm gonna do my makeup and I'll be back. <laughs> Guilty everywhere. Was worth it. I'm 
I'm actually gonna try a new product today. This was gifted to me from the Body Shop. It's their freestyle multitasking color. And this one is in the shade Real. I've been wanting to try a red blush, like legit red for a long time. Oh my God, look at it. That is kind of terrifying, I'm not gonna lie, but I bet it's gonna be so pretty. I'm just gonna take the tiniest bit. Oh gosh, how do we do this? Okay, even that was too much. Or is it just a heavy on the blush day? <gasps> that is more blush than I normally put on, but I actually kind of like it. It's giving Sabrina Carpenter on the red carpet. But oh my God, I used the tiniest amount. I think I'm gonna use the rest on my lips. Should we put it on now? Wow, it's so pretty on your lips. How pretty is that? This color is so nice. It's like a raspberry pinky red. It actually reminds me of the holiday when they're laying in bed with the girls and Cameron Diaz and Jude Law. She goes, I like your lipstick. And Cameron's like, thanks. It's called Berry Kiss. And then she goes, Berry Kiss it is. <laughs> I love that scene. It makes me cry. Anyways, that's a lot of blush. That is a lot of lip color. So let's balance this makeup out. I'm going to put you back on a time lapse. Merry Christmas, baby. Why are you sat on my bag? You've got so many places to sit. Okay, hello. It is time to finally try the coats on. And then after we've done that, hopefully I can stop putting things on Vinted. Look at this boy. He gives zero shits. He has found a comfy spot on my black bag. He ain't moving for anyone. You're not moving for no one. Okay, so the first coat that we're going to try on is actually one that I know I'm going to keep, but I'm just going to try them on anyway. And you guys can tell me if my opinions are right. Look at this cute hair. This is a per una coat. So it was from Marks and Spencers. Size 14, so a little oversized on me now, but you can fit a big jumper underneath. And this coat I absolutely love and I'm gonna keep. Reminds me a lot of Eponine from Les Mis. <laughs> Although I do like that it's got pink in it. I think it makes it a little bit different. Yeah, I really like this one. So this one is definitely staying. This coat, I think I want to keep, but I also know that some people think it looks looks like a dressing gown. So let me know in the comments what you think. This one doesn't fit too well over a big jumper. It's more for like a tight top underneath, but this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like open, but I usually wear it closed like a dressing gown. And yeah, what do we think of this one? I like it. I like the fur collar. I personally think it's nice, but again, would love your opinion. Although I am looking in the mirror now and I'm like, no, I love this. I'll probably keep it. That one is a size small from Oasis, by the way. None of these you can probably get anymore because they are very old. This coat I actually got in Pull and Bear and I think I'm going to keep this one because it's good on the days where it's not too cold but it might be a little bit rainy. Yeah, I really like this one. I think it's cool. A little bit chavvy but that vibe is cute sometimes. So this one I think is going to stay as well. Oh my god, are all of these going to end up staying? Next up, we have got this coat from, where was this one from? Forever 21 actually. I think I bought this when I went to New York once. Oh, I love this one. <laughs> Look how cute. I like the fact that hardly any people in the UK will have this coat because it was from America. But is it me anymore? I'm not sure. You'll have to let me know your opinions on this one. It's nice though because it is thinner. It's like a thinner fur coat. Normally fur coats are quite thick. The next fur coat I will actually never sell because this was my nan's. I also am not sure I would ever wear it either. I don't know how much of a leopard print person I am, but this is an Astraka coat. That's what the label looks like. Like I said, it was my nan's and this is the one thing I have of hers after she died. I took her coat. <laughs> See, to me, this is a massive vibe. I think it's so cool, but I'm not sure I would ever realistically wear it. But like I said, it's never getting sold ever. I love it too much. Maybe if my brother ends up having a kid one day who wants this jacket, I will pass it to them. This one I have such mixed feelings about because I personally think it's cool, but also it is a bit like trashy looking. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think, if I should actually wear this out in public. A very nice coat though. This one I know is gonna have to go because it is too big. It's from Marks and Spencers and it's a 16. It's a lot thicker than my other puffer coat that I just bought, the long one. It's done me very well, this coat. This coat. 
Oh my God. Look what just happened. That's a future me problem. I'm trying on coats right now. This one is also from Marks and Spencers. I get a lot of coats from M&S. This is size 16. This one is probably gonna have to go as well. It's a really nice, do you call this a parka? Again, this one is just too big for me now. And also I don't think I'd wear it because I would always choose to wear my long puffer instead of this. So yeah, this one is gonna go on vintage. I don't know how I'm gonna sort this out. Okay, next one is a size large from Zara. This is a black coat with a fur collar. I love this one. It's lined as well. This one might have cat hair on, but if I did keep it or sell it, I would give it a big old lint roll. I think this one might be a keep. God, everything's going to be a keep and I do not have wardrobe space. But I am such a coat person and I love this one too. Oh no. I wore this one in Austria once and oh my God, I felt a million dollars. I loved it. It is nice when it's just open. Oh, you guys. I think we've got two more. Okay, this is a coat that I bought and then put on weight and actually literally never wore it. So this is from Marks and Spencers. This one is a size 12. It's lined as well. And this one will also be covered in Nelly hair. So let's just ignore that. This reminds me a lot of Javert from Les Mis. <laughs> oh my God, this one. I love it. The only thing I don't love is these kind of pockets. I want pockets like that. But yeah, this is what this coat looks like. I think it's so classy looking, but I would probably wear it open. I really love this. I love the color. Very pretty. Think I will probably keep purely because I've never worn it before and I feel like it deserves aware out of me. But yeah, again, let me know what you think. And then we have one more. This coat has been with me for a very long time. So many people in my life hate this jacket but I have always thought it was so cool. I wore this a lot when I lived in London. It was like my go-to going out jacket if I went out. Love it, it's ombre gray to black. But let me know what you think about this. Is it very me anymore? I have very mixed feelings about this, but I do still love it in my heart. So let me know what you think. I'm gonna sort this out. <laughs> Now that I've sorted that out, I actually got another jumper when I was in town. This one was only, I think, £10 from H&M. What was it? £10.99. Such a good deal. They had so many colours. I actually wanted some of the other colours, but this was the only one in stock in a medium. So I got this one. Anyways, I thought I'd show you this jumper while I have got jeans on. So this is what it looks like. Very cute. And like I said, they have different colors. I think I'm gonna pick up, they had a white one with black stripes on it, like thin black stripes like this. And I haven't really seen anything like that this year. Normally the stripes are a bit thicker and the jumpers are longer, but I like the fact that this is a crop. So there we go, I will link that below as well as the pull and bear one. And I actually also got, they had a three for two deal on socks. So I picked some up as well. I got these black heart ones. I got these cream heart ones with gold sparkly hearts. And I got these Christmas tree ones. So those are my socks for winter. And I also just picked up some leggings, but they're not very interesting to show. I have just done recording a podcast episode with Cam for her podcast, What I Will Say. And now we have got so many parcels to open. So let's start off not with this one. That's an ASOS one. That's like a bit more stressful to open. So the first thing I got are two boxes to hide cords. Ooh, this is good. It comes with cord ties, things to hold your wires in as well, to keep them tidy. And a bunch of cord ties, that is so handy. I will link these below, but yeah, one big one, one smaller one. This is a new duvet, 15 tog, because I am always cold. I cannot wait to sleep in this. I got a parcel from ASOS. First thing I got is actually this waving wand. This is the one that I originally wanted, but every didn't actually deliver my ASOS parcel when they said they would and it never got a rescheduled delivery date so it's just kind of been held for a few days. I didn't know if it was lost or if it was going to be delivered so I ended up going into town and getting that waving one but this is the original one that I wanted and I might keep both because they are both different but I'm not sure about that. Then I got some clothes which... 
I feel bad not trying on right now, but honestly, I've got the bed to make. I've got a video to edit. Maybe we'll, we'll try them on in the next vlog and you can be excited about that. But let me just give you a sneak peek of one of them. This one says Santa's Grotto on it. I wanted some more Christmassy jumpers. And then I just got a wide tooth comb from Revolution. I used to have a wide tooth comb from Oliver Bonus. And oh my God, I loved it. It was so beautiful and like worked so well, but I lost it in America. Anyways. This one looks great and it'll fit in all of my bags. Oh yeah, this is perfect. I like the ones without handles because then they just fit in any bag. So we'll open those clothes in the next vlog, but right now I want to put this duvet on my bed. It is 2 a.m. It's time for me to hit the hay. Actually, I've just made another cup of tea. <laughs> I have to be up so early because I've got a two and a half hour train journey and I've got to be at my destination at 9 a.m. So it's going to be an early one. And if you know anything about me, you know that I can't sleep. I've been trying my hardest to get up early and go to bed early but the thing is me and cam have a six hour time difference it's actually five at the minute with daylight savings but it'll go back to six soon and she's six hours behind me and she's just finishing work at like 6 p.m so when it gets to midnight here all I want to do is talk to her. This is the rubbish side of long distance because then I end up staying up till like 5am. But also I do just struggle to sleep in general. Anyways, less of that. I'm going to head to bed. We'll see if I even make it to London because there's a storm right now and it's crazy. And the train line says that trains are all disrupted and they're going to be disrupted because of the storm. So <laughs> fingers crossed, but we'll see. The bedtime. That's a good boy. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe for daily videos in November and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.